So we're going to look at some uh, additional types of calculations we can use uh, with respect to Ka and pH when we're dealing with weak acids. Okay, so they're asking us to calculate the acid ionization constant, the Ka, for an acid if a 0 0.10 molar solution has a measured pH of 5.15. Okay, so now instead of starting with um, our Ka value, in this case we're finding our Ka value from our pH and our known initial concentration. Okay, so um, remember our Ka um, is something that we need to solve for, so in order to write our equilibrium expression for the Ka value, we need to first have an equation. Now they didn't tell us specifically what acid we have, so we can't um, indicate uh, the specific conjugate acids and conjugate base, but we can write it in the generic format that we have here. Okay, so in this case, H plus, okay, A minus, all over HA, these are going to be, this is going to be our equilibrium um, expression. And these are the concentrations that we need to know in order to calculate Ka. So, we know we're calculating Ka for weak acid, so we know we're going to need an ice table. So we set up this ice table. Okay, now our initial concentration, we were given the initial concentration of the acid, and we're assuming the ionization of H plus and A minus haven't occurred yet, so we're going to assume their concentration is um, zero. Now, um, our changes, okay, are indicated here, just like we've done in the past, and our equilibrium concentrations will be set up there. Okay, now, in this situation, I don't have a Ka, okay, I don't, I don't have anything that's going to allow me to um, basically solve for um, my X value. Okay, at least not in the prototypical way we've seen. However, I do have pH, okay? And if we look at pH, remember pH um, in this situation, okay, or in any situation, is gonna be calculated by taking the negative log of our H plus, right? Okay, so I know pH. So in order to calculate for my H plus concentration, right, just like we've discussed before, we're gonna take 10 to the negative pH, and that's going to give us our H plus. So, well, when we do that really quickly down here, 10 to the negative 5.15, that gives us this concentration, okay, at equilibrium, because that's when I measured my pH, okay? So if I know my concentration of H+, plus, I know my X value, okay? If I know my X value, I could subsequently plug them into the appropriate locations, okay? And I can get my equilibrium um, concentration values. I then take those concentration values, I plug them into my equilibrium expression, Right. Okay. Multiply out, divide by um, 0 0.10, and I subsequently get this as the Ka value for the specific acid that I'm looking at. Okay. So we've looked at how to calculate pH from our Ka value and initial concentration, and in this situation, now we looked at how to calculate our Ka from our pH value and our um, initial concentrations of our acid. Okay, so um, basically these two processes are, are interchangeable and, and um, basically kind of connected in, in, in very direct ways. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's discuss percent ionization. Um, basically, we can determine the percentage of ionization that has occurred for a specific acid or even any kind of um, electrolyte uh, by utilizing this equation. So. Um, Ionized acid concentration at equilibrium um, goes on top. The initial concentration of the acid goes on bottom. We multiply that by 100. So for a monoprotic acid, basically our percent ionization is going to be our H plus divided by our initial concentration of HA times 100. Okay, and we do that math, and that will give us the percentage of um, our ionization. So guys, we know that for strong acids, Right? They have 100% ionization. That's really straightforward. It's a non-issue. For weak acids, obviously the concentration of H plus um, that gets produced at equilibrium is going to dictate um, how much that acid has ionized. So let's go ahead and look at um, utilizing Ka to calculate percent ionization. Okay, so they've told us here to calculate the percent ionization for a 0 0.50 molar HF solution with a Ka equal to 7.1 times 10 to the negative 4. Okay, so we know that once again we're going to be using ice tables because we're dealing with the weak acids, right? Okay, so a weak acid is going to ionize. In this case, it's HF, so we have a specific example that's going to ionize into H plus and F minus. Okay, now in order to figure out my percent ionization, Right, so percent ionization, 
I need to know the concentration of H plus at equilibrium, and I need to know the initial concentration of my acid. Okay, now I know the initial concentration of my acid, okay, but I need to find my concentration of H plus, right? And the only way I'm going to do that is by finding X. Okay, so in order to do this, what I'm going to do once again is I'm going to utilize Ka, right, in my equilibrium expression. Okay, and I'm going to plug in the numbers I know. I know Ka, right? I know um, that I have x and x at equilibrium, and I know I have 0 0.50 minus x at equilibrium as well. So I've plugged these into my equilibrium expression and set them equal to the Ka value that I've been given for that specific acid. Now, I can do the approximation method, um, just like I've done in the past. Okay, I drop this x right here, subsequently then um, cross multiply up, solve for my x by taking the square root of both sides, and I subsequently get this value as my x. Okay, now remember, x in this situation corresponds to the concentration of H plus at equilibrium. So, I can then take my um, concentration of x at equilibrium, right, plug it into my percent ionization equation, divide it out by the concentration initial of my HF, multiply by 100, and get my ionization um, percentage. Now, notice this also works as the check to see if um, the approximation method that you used here was acceptable. Okay, so obviously this percent ionized is less than 5%, so the means by which I solved for X is appropriate, and I have my ionization percentage um, in one fell swoop. So uh, this is just another way to use Ka and your ice tables. Um, so you can figure out pH, you can figure out um, your percent ionization, um, and obviously if, if you know your pH, you can go the other way as well. So um, just make sure, guys, that you're writing out your... Um, disassociation um, steps appropriately, um, that you're writing out correct uh, equilibrium expressions, um, and basically make sure that you're always checking your approximation method to be sure that um, it's under 5%.